In this lesson, we are going to learn how to read measurements of common equipment in a sign class. Before we start, you need to know your place values. We have a hundreds, tenths, ones. After the decimal, the number gets smaller than one. Here we have tenth, that means one over ten. Here we have hundreds, one over a hundred. Last one, thousand. That's mean one over a thousand. The strategy is always n one place value smaller than the place value of its increment. For example, we are going to look at this picture with 10.00 milliliter graduate cylinder. Before we start, the difference divided by the number of increments. What's that mean? So the difference 6 minus 5 it will be 1. That's your difference. Divided by the number of increments. Starting from 5 all the way to 6 how many increments will we take? So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It will take 10 increments from 5 to 6. 1 divided by 10, you will have 0.1. Let's go back to the strategy. The strategy is always in one place value smaller than the place value of its increment. So now let's look up here. What is smaller than tenths? Hundreds. For this device, it will always end at the hundreds there will always be two decimal places. Now we are going to learn how to read the measurements. This is what you're going to see when you, are, when you have a liquid in your graduate cylinder. This is the water line. Now when we do our reading, we look at the lowest curve or the lowest point, which is called the meniscus. So this lower point right here, which is called the meniscus which is the lowest point. For sure we know it's going to be 5, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, but we know that meniscus did not pass 0 0.3, 0 0.2 and 0 0.3, 5.25. 5. So for sure we know it's going to be 5, 0 0.2, but the last number, number 5, we didn't know for sure, so we estimated. So it could be 5.26, 5.27. All these numbers are estimated. So your last digit will always be estimated. So let's move on to our next reading. This one is a 100.0 milliliter graduate cylinder. So the, we use the same formula, the differences divide by the number of increment. 60 minus 50 will give you 10 divided by your number of increment. So you had to count your increment from your 50 to your 60. That will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's going to take 10 increments. So 10 divided by 10 will give you 1. Now let's go back to our strategies. Our strategies say that always n one place value smaller than the place value of its increment. This number will be the one place. We need to estimate our number for the tenths. Remember? The, when we are doing the reading, we have to look at the water line, and this is our water line, but the lowest point is called the meniscus right here. For sure we know it's going to be 52 point, it's going to be 0.5. This is my estimate. 
It can be 52.6, 52.7. All these are correct because the last digit is estimated. So now we're looking at a 175 milliliter beaker. Same thing, you use the same formula, the difference divided by the number of increments. I will take um, 100 minus 50. That's my difference. Now I'm going to count the number of increments. 1, 2. 100 minus 50 will give me 50. 50 divided by 2 will give me 25. Now let's go back to our strategies. Always end one place values smaller than the place value of its increment. Our increment is 25, so it's the tenths place. And what is smaller than the tenths? The ones. So this is where we're going to estimate. So before we do the reading, we have to go back and label the missing measurement. So 50 plus 25 will give us 75. 100 plus 25 will give us 125. Let's try to figure out what is our measurement on the meniscus. It's going to be 105 to 115 milliliter. Notice the answer are very broad because the value of the increments is very large. Okay. Last one, 150 milliliter Erlen Meyer flask. Same thing, you had to find the differences. So 150 minus 125 divided by the number of increment, which is 1. So 155 minus 25 will give you 25 over 1, which is 25. The same thing, your 2 is going to be your tenths. So your 2 will be your tenths, your 5 will be your 1's. We estimate on the 1's. And our meniscus is right here. So that will be between 130 to 140. Notice the answer is very broad because the value of the increment is very large.